How was the thing I was popping was cracking it's D about to react to this vid. So apparently Beyonce checked the rapper Fabulous. Don't know why, but we're gonna see what that's about. And Lotto claims her account was hacked. I saw something about this. Apparently she was talking about Nicki Minaj. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I got hacked. And I'm like, hmm. So we're gonna get the details about that as well. So let's see what's happening. Let's watch. Okay, you guys, so Diddy is on watch now. I can't say the word because I don't want to get in trouble by YouTube, but y'all read yeah. the title. So basically, as of now, Diddy is being held at the Metro. I heard this is like a typical protocol, though. I don't think that he's exhibiting suicidal uh, behavior. I think this is just what they typically do. From my understanding, I could be wrong. Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. And he has been denied bail twice. Now, Diddy has tried his best to get out on bail, but the judges are not budging. Now, they say that they believe that he is a flight risk, and not only that, they believe that he will threaten and intimidate the witnesses that they are going to use against him on his trial. And they don't want any of the witnesses being tampered with. Now, Diddy has pled not guilty to his charges of ex trafficking and racketeering. So now they have Diddy on S watch because that's what they do for inmates that they feel might harm themselves yeah. now not only that his lawyer is claiming that the jail that he is in is not safe at all and that that jail has a very high rate when it comes to deaths but that's not all you guys get into this so allegedly according to extra Kim Porter, who is P. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, and mind you, they have three kids together. Her diary is now getting made into a book. So according to Extra, Diddy's late ex, Kim Porter, alleged diary entries are being turned into a book. Kim's lost words. The alleged diary entries are shocking and claims Diddy not only participated in threes and more with both men and women, but that he has a vault of recordings with young male artists. The entries also reveal alleged violence against Kim, who died in 2018 at just 47. Her cause of death was reported as pneumonia, but in her last diary entry, DailyMail.com says she texts friends he got me before calling 911. And guess who co-signed this, you guys? Kim Porter's first baby daddy, I'll be sure. He said it's the math finally mathing. Now, oh. I'll be sure is also accusing Diddy of putting him in a coma a few years back. But when I tell you if this stuff is true that everybody has been saying, this man has a lot of karma that he has to pay back. But moving on to the next story. That's okay, you guys, so Fabulous did an interview and he brought up the time that Beyonce had to check him baby so behind out that girl too? lunch. Oh. So basically a few years back, Fabulous was featured on Gucci Mane's remix for Lemonade. And so in that song, he said, if you can have Beyonce, would you take Solange? Huh? Beyonce oh, I remember that. I remember that line. I thought that was shady. I, I always thought that was a shady ass line. Would you take that line? Huh? <laughs> yeah, she should have checked your ass because fuck out of here. That was rude. Take a listen. Taking shots at that girl People for nothing. paying attention. I didn't know Beyonce was paying attention. I ain't gonna lie. I was just like, yo, I ain't. And it was kind of like some mixtape underground. It wasn't like I said it in like. You know, when she said it, Shut I was up. like, nah, I get it. But I'm in my head, I'm like, where, who played Beyonce? <laughs> like, you know, kind of making her the butt of the joke. And they heard it. And they So somebody who hears the butt of the joke and they the butt of the joke, they like, oh, shit. So imagine jamming to it. And, and, <laughs> and then you hear that line, you're like, oh, nah, turn that shit off. And your whole thing of Fab is just like, yeah, nah, I, don't, I don't listen to that. <laughs> Now, I don't know why nobody told him, but one thing that I can say about Beyonce is she keeps up with everything that's going on. It's not a new artist that's out that's popping she don't know about. It's not any tea she doesn't know about. I don't know if this lady has a team that keeps up, but I promise you this lady stays up to date on every little thing. Now, he didn't say exactly what Beyonce said to him. But he better be happy that it was Beyonce and not Solange. Because that's the one that's going to pop off and say whatever it is she wants to say. Sure, She's kind of like the hood sister, if you get what I'm saying. But do y'all think Fabulous is wrong for saying that? For yeah, comparing Beyonce's looks to her sister's looks? Or do you think it's just say. part of the game? No, y'all let me know what you think <laughs> in the comments. And do you think Beyonce is justified for confronting Fabulous about talking about her sister? I'm sure it was very chill. I'm sure she didn't go off on that man and curse him out. Slap him in the face, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> 
But moving on to the next story. Okay, you guys, so Lotto is finally speaking out about her Twitter account getting hacked earlier this month. So whoever this person was ended up hacking. What's that? Fuck Nicki Minaj, that fat bitch. Can you fat ugly? Who was Kenzie? In her Twitter account and posting all types of random things. Now, she said that these people didn't just hack her Twitter account. The they fuck? hacked her SIM card. She had to get a new phone and everything. Take a look. On Twitter. And um, it, it, it wasn't letting me log in. So I go to my email and it say, oh, you, thanks for giving permission to at that I'm alive. This gives this account um, permission to DM, tweet, everything. So I'm like, what the and then I'm like, oh, my phone show was uh, tripping earlier. So I tell Brooke, because I'm, I'm auntie, like grandma is fucking yeah. technology. I don't know nothing about that. So I tell Brooke, I'm like, da da da. She's like, wait, listen, your SIM card might have got hacked. Mm -hmm. My SIM card got hacked. Like, mm -hmm. how the fuck is y'all doing this? How is that happening? How did that happen? So I had to get a whole new phone. That's crazy. Yeah, people thought she was really tweeting that. And I'm like, bro. They thought she was really tweeting Then they get to the tweet about Shawty. I'm like, now they really gonna believe me. Um, what? Like, That's not me. But, and this situation really got a lot of attention because she was tweeting about Nicki Minaj and we know Lotto and Nicki Minaj screenshots? do not like each other. But I do want to know what you feel about this. Do you feel like she's telling the truth? I mean, do you probably. feel like she was hacked or do you think it's cap? Y'all let me know what you think about everything, but that's all I have. I mean, she went off on her in the past as herself and didn't claim she was getting hacked back then. So... I don't think she would throw rocks and hide her hands in this particular situation. And it looks like a hack situation because what the hell were they talking about? It was some weird things being stated in those tweets. I'm not going to repeat what I saw, but it was talking about grape and just weird shit. Um, so she probably was hacked. It's very possible, but hopefully she got it figured out, I guess. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!